at the shem glass. Could we call you glass for Pesach? He says over here, the Rabbi Shai, glass that you put bira, beer. Beer is completely chametz. It's made out of barley, right? So you have cups or you have containers where you had beer the whole year. Said the Rabbi Shai, we hold, the Shchanah holds, the Shchanah writes, glass does not absorb. Ashkenaz is a little bit more, are more a little bit uh, meticulous. I'll tell you a story that happened. You know, Rabbi Yosef and Rabbi Tzion Abashol, they were neighbors. Rabbi Tzion Abashol up, Rabbi Yosef lived in the same building. Rabbi Yosef said, according to Sfaradim, glass does not need to be kosher. You rinse it with cold water and soap, Pyrex, glass, whatever is glass, cups, whatever. Even if you drink whiskey the whole year in the cup, even if you drink beer in the cup, Right? Whatever you do in this cup, glass does not need to be kosher. You make lasagna in, uh, in Pyrex. Does not need to be kosher. You just rinse it, you, you use it for Pesach. A Ben Tzion Shaul, one day, the son of Rav Avadia, he was young. Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef, the Rishon Letzion, which is the present Rishon Letzion. He was young. He went, he used to go to the Rav to speak with him Torah. One day the Rabbi called him, come, come, Yitzchak, bo, bo, come. I want to show you something. He says, what? He says, look, tell your father that he's wrong. He says, why? He says, your father says glass does not have to be kosher because dust does not absorb. He says, yeah. He says, I tell you it's wrong. He said, why? He showed them cups. He showed them cups. He told them, I measured, I, I weighed the cup, weighed the cup when it's not new. After he told them, I put liquid in the cup. I put liquid in the cup, hot. Hot liquid in the cup. And I measured the cup. It was weighing more. It was weighing more. So I told your father, he's wrong. That glass does absorb. Yitzchak means the Rachel Letzion, Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef, he was small. He went to his father, Abba, Abba, look what the, the neighbor, Rabbi Yitzchak Shabbat said. He told him, I know, it's nothing. <laughs> what do you mean it's nothing? He says, glass does absorb, but the absorption is so minimal, it cannot render the clean not kosher. It's like zero point something. So yes, what did he measure? He measured the cup was weighing, let's say, 30 grams. And after 31, that's not an absorption. An absorption means you really absorb. As Amaro, don't even look at, don't, even, don't even consider it. Glass, even though it absorbs a little bit, it's not enough to render a kli. A utensil not kosher during the year, not, not kosher during Pesach. There's no problem. You just rinse it now. Nah. The Ben Ishchai brings a method in between. Like in between Sfaradim, which is nothing. Don't need nothing to kosher. In between Ashkenazim, they do, do it in boiling water. Ashkenazim do it in boiling water, but it's going to burst. So they use only dura legs. They're, they're, hard, they're hard thing. The Ben Ishchai brings down a system that's brought in the Gemara. What's the system? If you take a glass, a cup, and you fill it with water, and you let it sit for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you empty the cup. You refill it with water. <coughs> You let it sit for 24 hours. You throw out the water. You refill it a third time with water for 24 hours. 72 hours in liquid. And you spill the water every, every, every um, 24 hours. Says the Rabbi Nishai. This is brought in the Gemara. This is the, kosher, the way to kosher barrels of, uh, barrels of wine. Why wine? Wine sometimes is not kosher. Right? Barrel, barrel is not hot. Barrel is cold. This is a way to kosher a barrel of wine. A, a barrel of uh, beer, right? So he says, for sure, it's a way to close your glass. So if you want to be strict, take your counter, fill it up with all the glass that you have, fill it up with water, but... But it has to be, no, it has to be sitting. The water has to be sitting. Why? No, the water, when it sits, it sucks. But usually you said that you do glass? You don't, it, you don't need kashrut, Bechlan. You don't need kashrut. Nachon. Ashkenazim tell you, you have to boiling water. Machmirim want to do in between, not boiling water or not nothing. So filling up the cup. But you don't need it. For Sefaradim, you just rinse it with cold water and soap.